Jambo, Sena Banani, Baloni, Salam. Welcome to Inside Africa. Ethiopia president replaced after falling out with Prime Minister. Ethiopia's parliament has approved the appointment of a new president to replace the country's first female head of state, Sola Worksaude. Te Astaik Selesi, foreign minister since February, has taken up the largely ceremonial role. In Ethiopia, political power lies with the Prime Minister currently Abe Ahmed. Solar work had reportedly fallen out with Abe in recent years. The Prime Minister's backing of her initial appointment in 2018 was hailed as a breakthrough for gender equality in Ethiopian politics. On Saturday, Solar work posted a brief and somewhat cryptic message on X, implying she was unhappy as a result of staying silent for the past year. Sources close to the 74-year-old stated she had not been happy for some time and was eagerly awaiting the end of her term, due later this month. During her presidency, she made several calls for peace across the country, though she was criticized for not talking more about the gender-based violence during the two-year civil war in Tigray. But it is believed she was concerned about the current conflicts in Oromia and Amhara regions. In Amhara, Federal forces have been fighting a local militia, which has led to hundreds of deaths and security forces being accused of committing crimes against humanity. President Tay, 68, an experienced diplomat having served at the UN and in Egypt, is considered close to obey. He was sworn in in front of MPs on Monday. The replacement of solar work means that Tanzania's President Samia Sululu Hassan is currently Africa's only female head of state. We hope you found that informative and interesting. Remember to leave your thoughts down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. We are on the road to 2000 subscribers. This is Inside Africa.